I gave uh, someone $50 worth of heroin. And he didn't pay me. I don't sell drugs. I'm affiliated, but I don't pay nobody no drugs. This day I did. This day I did. Someone called my name for a brief second and I turned this way and at that time he stabbed me in the face. Bam. Stabbed me in the face, knocked out two of my teeth and went straight through the side of my face. So he dropped us off at the motel, paid for one night, and that's all he paid for. Around winter time, so it was cold, freezing cold in the apartment. No bed, no sofa, no blankets. No bet she's nothing. What was I gonna do? How was I gonna make it? How was I gonna make an honest living? How was I gonna put myself in position to never feel like fast money was my only option? Everyone in here is pretty much like a big brother. Um, they give me great tips on how to be a barber. Things in my life that I never thought possible. And I just believe the only way I could pay him back is, is to help people. And do for people who can't do for themselves. I do anything and everything to make sure that his future is, is the best future possible. You know, and he's not exposed to a lot of the stuff that I was exposed to as a result of my father and my mother not being there. And I'm here today and it's, the barber has saved my life. This thing is great. David employs people here. He's making a positive difference in society here. This positivity here, he is a role model here. People look up to him. Today he did an event where he, he cut heads for people who can't really afford it and help kids get their school supplies together. Nobody does that. I know wealthy people who don't do this kind of stuff.